patterns in numbers children in the previous video we saw that chutki with the help of her mother learn to recognize and complete the patterns in objects and shapes today we will learn to recognize the patterns in numbers and take it forward good morning children good morning sir children today we will play a fun game with numbers a game with numbers wow we will we'll have fun chutki you come here look i am going to play this tambourine and you will have to listen to its sound carefully and answer my questions okay so now tell me chutki how many times did i play this tambourine You first played the tambourine one time, then two times. One, two, one, and two. At that many times you played. Well done. Yes. So children, I played this tambourine one, two, one, two, one, two times. So look, this has become a number pattern. Now it's your turn, Pinky. Okay, sir. Pinky, how many times did I play the tambourine? You first played the tambourine three times, then one, three, one. Three and one like this. Well done, Pinky. Yes. So, children, now I will write on the board the numbers as said by Pinky. Three, one, three, one, three, one. Pinky, can you see a pattern in these numbers? Hmm. Here in the first line, one, two. One, two. These numbers have been repeated to make a pattern, sir. Yes, and in the next line, three, one, three, one. These numbers have been repeated to make a pattern. Sir, what will be the next step of this game? It's very easy. Let's move ahead with this pattern. Tell me, what comes next in the first pattern? Mm, in the first pattern, the next number is one followed by two. Well done, Chutki. Children, now to move ahead with the second pattern, which number comes next? So, to move ahead with the second pattern, we will write after one, three. and then one again rightly said now look another pattern of numbers come let us understand this one in this pattern it is 19 then 20 then 21 this means that each time the numbers are increasing by one yes so chutki you tell me what comes next in this pattern um After twenty one, we'll come twenty two and then twenty three. Oh wow! Well done, Chutki. Come, Pinky. Now it's your turn. You take this pattern forward. In this pattern, after twenty four comes twenty five, and after twenty five comes twenty six. Very good, Pinky. So, children, are you having fun playing this pattern game of numbers? Yes, sir. It is a lot of fun. Children, come. Let us see another pattern with numbers. 
let us understand the rules of this pattern and then complete it chutki can you complete this pattern yes in this pattern 6 comes after 5 chutki see the rules of this pattern after 1 it is not 2 but 3 after 3 it's not 4 but 5 this pattern proceeds with alternate numbers yes so like this after 5 comes 7 and not 6 well done chutki come pinky now proceed with this pattern in this pattern 10 does not come after 9 the next number will be 11 and after 11 will come 13 and not 12 wow pinky well done children here in the first number pattern one has been added to each number to take it forward like adding 1 to 19 makes 20 and adding 1 to 20 makes 21 and in the next pattern 2 has been added to each number to proceed with the pattern like adding 1 and 2 makes 3 and adding 2 to 3 makes it 5 children tomorrow we will see more number patterns till then bye children okay, okay sir so. bye friends today we learned to recognize number patterns and to complete them in the next video with the help of some more examples we will see how to recognize number patterns and complete them patterns in numbers interesting examples today with the help of examples we will recognize patterns in numbers and learn how to complete them children in the previous video we learned to recognize patterns in numbers and to complete them today we will see examples related to this topic okay sir today i will draw a pattern with the help of square shapes first two squares then four squares and then six squares children can you tell me how to move ahead with this pattern hmm in this pattern the numbers of squares are increasing Yes chutki initially this pattern had two squares adding two more squares makes it four squares two four squares adding two more squares makes it six squares similarly every time the number of squares are increased by two can you guess how many squares will be present in the next step if this pattern is repeated currently the pattern has six squares adding two more squares seven and eight this means there will be eight squares in the next step oh wow well done similarly in the next step adding two squares to eight will make it 10 squares so children this is how we proceed with this pattern children let us see another pattern see this pattern is made of buildings now tell me how many floors are there in the first building the first building has 7 floors and how many floors are there in the second building ah uh, the second building has 6 floors and the third building has 5 floors okay now let's continue and complete the pattern this is easy sir in this pattern we reduce one floor each time and proceed with the pattern right 
Yes, Pinky, rightly said. Following this pattern and moving to the next step, we deduct 1 from 5, we get a 4-storey building. Well done, Pinky. Children, we proceed with this pattern by reducing the number of floors by one at a time. Hence, next step we get 3, then reducing 1 from 3 we get 2 and after 2 comes a single story building. And with this the pattern comes to an end. Thank you, sir. These patterns are very interesting. Friends, today in this video, we learned to recognize number patterns and to complete them. In the next video, we will learn to correct the mistakes made while recognizing numbers patterns. Patterns in Numbers Common Errors Today we will see few mistakes made while recognizing number patterns. Children, you know about the patterns in numbers. So, today let us see some more patterns. In the given number pattern, you have to recognize the numbers that have been left out. Okay, sir. In this number pattern, which are the numbers that have been left out? This is easy. 16 will come after 15. No, Chutki. Look at this pattern carefully and find out how to continue with this pattern? I did not understand, sir. Look here. After 5 is 10. In this pattern, adding 5 to 5 has made 10. Like adding 1 to 5 makes 6. Adding 2 makes it 7. Adding 3 makes it 8. Adding 4 makes it 9. And adding 5 has made it 10. This way, 5 has been added each time to carry the pattern forward. Similarly, 5 has been added to 10 to make it 15. So now tell me, in this pattern, going forward, what number will we get if we add 5 to 15? If we add 1 to 15, we get 16. Adding 2, we get 17. Adding 3 makes it 18. Adding 4 makes it 19 and adding 5 to 15 will make it 20. So answer is 20. Yes, and so similarly, adding 5 to 20 makes it 25. So this is the way to carry the pattern forward. Come, let us see the next pattern. Now, let's complete this pattern. To continue this pattern, after 40 comes 41, 42, 43. Oh no! Look at this pattern carefully. As the pattern continues, the numbers are decreasing. Yes. Here after 60, 50 and after 50 it's 40 written here. Sir, what is the pattern here? Let's understand this pattern. In this pattern, subtracting 10 from 60, we get 50. Subtracting 10 from 50, we'll get 40. Similarly, subtracting 10 each time, we proceed with this pattern. Can you try now? Hmm. Subtracting 10 from 40, we get 30. Subtracting 10 from 30, we get 20. Subtracting 10 from 20, we get 10. Absolutely correct. Children, you can see several number patterns like these. Okay, okay sir. Friends, in this video, we learned to correct the mistakes made 
while recognizing number patterns. Patterns in our surroundings and shapes. Chutki, are you back after playing? Yes, mummy. I'm back. Are the new tiles fixed in the bathroom? Yes. Go and have a look at it yourself. Mummy, what is this? The tiles are not stuck in order in the bathroom. They are not uniform. Chutki, the tiles are stuck properly. Look, a pattern is made in the tiles by sticking them in this manner. Oh yes, here in the first row, the tiles are laid in an uniform manner. And in the second row, the tiles are placed in between two tiles above it. And this pattern is repeated again and again. Okay, so this is a pattern, isn't it? Yes, Shutki. Would you like to know more about the patterns? Yes, Mummy. I want to know more about the patterns. So, friends, today we will learn to identify the patterns in the objects in our surroundings and how to build them further. Look, Shutki. Here a pattern is created in my sari using big and small flowers. Yes, the big and small flowers are repeated in your sari. Now look at this. A pattern of one black square and then one white square followed by a black square is repeated in a chess board. Oh yes, you are right. Chutki, come on. Now let's go to the kitchen. Okay, let's go. Now look, a pattern is made using triangles on this pot of water. Oh yes. Look carefully. Here in this pot, a triangle is made with a flower in it. This is followed by an upside down triangle that again has a flower in it. Yes, and this pattern is repeated again and again. Yes, Chutki, look, there are patterns on so many objects in our surroundings. Yes, Mummy, I will find some more patterns. Now, can you help me complete my school homework? Yes, Chutki, come on, I will help you complete your homework. Look, Mummy, I have to do this homework. Oh, this homework is about patterns which we learned just now. You can do it very easily. Yes, Mummy. Here there are only circles in the first given pattern. I can't identify any pattern here. Look carefully. The circles are filled with colors and these colors are repeated in a particular order. First circle is filled with green color. The second circle is filled with yellow color. And the third circle is filled with green color. Yes. The yellow and green colors are repeated in the next circles. You are right. Now if you fill the next circles with yellow and green color and repeat it, the pattern will be complete. Yes. This pattern is very easy. Come on, now look at the second pattern. This pattern is made of two shapes. Yes, you identified it right. There are triangles and circles in this pattern. Now look carefully. There is a small circle shape inside the triangle and after that there is a small triangle shape inside the circle in this pattern. This pattern is repeated again and again. Now tell me, which shapes would come at the empty places? Mm, 
So now a small triangle inside a circle would come here in the empty place. Well done. Come on, now try building this pattern. A shape with a small circle inside a triangle would come next. What will come after that? A shape with a small triangle inside a circle would follow this. Absolutely right. Well done. Come on, now you identify the patterns in the objects in our surroundings. Okay, mummy. Yes, so friends, today in this video, we learn how to identify patterns which occur in the objects and shapes and also how to build them further. In the next video, we will learn to identify the patterns in the objects and shapes in our surroundings and how to build them further with some examples. And we will also get to know about some common mistakes. Patterns in our surroundings and shapes. Examples Friends, in the previous video, we learned to identify the patterns in objects and shapes and how to build them further. Today, we will learn to identify the patterns which are made with objects and shapes and we will see some interesting examples related to building them further. Mummy, can I help you in doing the work? No Chutki, I have done all the chores. Come on, let us both play an interesting game of making patterns and building them further. Yes, we will have fun. Look, I will make a pattern with the help of these matchsticks. You have to identify that pattern and build it further. Okay. One standing matchstick, one sleeping matchstick near it. Then again two standing matchsticks and two sleeping matchsticks. Now you proceed with this pattern. Next it will be two standing matchsticks and two sleeping matchsticks again. Not like that, Chitki. Look at this pattern a little more carefully. First there is one standing matchstick and then one sleeping matchstick in this pattern. Next, there are two standing matchsticks and two sleeping matchsticks. It means, here the number of matchsticks is increasing by one each time. Oh yes! First one one matchstick and then two two matchsticks. Yes! So, how many matchsticks do you have to put next in this pattern? 3-3 three, three matchsticks after 2-2 two, two matchsticks. It means we will put 3 standing matchsticks and 3 sleeping matchsticks. Oh, wow! Well done! Now, how will you move ahead with this pattern? We will move ahead by placing 4-4 four, four matchsticks, which means 4 standing matchsticks and 4 sleeping matchsticks. Well done, Chitki. You completed this pattern in a perfect manner. Come on, now let's look at the next pattern. See, now I will make pattern with these candles. You have to complete it. Okay. Four big candles, four small candles near them. Then again three big candles and three small candles. Yes, then again we will place two big candles and after that two small candles. Yes, you are absolutely right. Now proceed with this pattern and complete it. It is easy. We have to place three big candles and three small candles after two candles. No, Chutki. Look carefully. Each time the number of candles is decreased by 1. 
initially we had four four candles after that three three candles and then two two candles mm. so this pattern will be complete if we place one big candle and one small candle beside it yes well done chitki mummy i'm having so much fun ask me one more questions on the patterns come on now look carefully at this pattern and tell me which colors do you have to fill in the unfill arrows we have to fill green color in two standing arrows and red color in one sleeping unfill arrow chitki there are blue red green these three colors are filled in this pattern now look carefully at the standing arrows in this pattern of these arrows the downward arrows are filled with green color and upward arrows are filled with blue color and the sleeping arrows are filled with red color now tell me which colors do we have to fill the following arrows with mm, of these arrows first arrow is going downward so we will have to fill it with green color and we will fill the arrow going upwards with blue color absolutely right chutki next now we will fill the sleeping arrow with red color then the downward arrow is filled with green color and upward arrow with blue color wow well done chutki thank you mummy friends so today we learned to identify the patterns which are made with objects and shapes we also saw some interesting examples related to building the pattern further in the next video we will get to know about the common mistakes we make while identifying the patterns made from shapes patterns in our surroundings and shapes common mistakes friends in this video we will see some common mistakes that we make while identifying the pattern made from the shapes chitki come on let's see some more patterns today you will have to identify them and build them further okay mummy you have to identify this pattern and build it further oh the triangle will be the next in this pattern come on chitki you have to look carefully at the pattern and understand it no matter how many shapes or colors are used look the square rectangle and triangle these three shapes are repeated in one order in this pattern yes first shape is square second is rectangle and third is triangle if we repeat these shapes in this order then after triangle square after square rectangle and after rectangle it is triangle see this pattern is complete well done chitki now you continue to study and i will do my work okay mummy so friends in this video we got to know about the common mistakes we make while identifying the pattern made with shapes